of America, it's me, Big Bones Kristoff, United States sneakerhead champion. Um, I'm here to take on these sneakers. I'm here to show the world that I'm the United States sneakerhead world champion and that I deserve to keep this title and that no, no, one, no one's getting this title. It's mine. It's my title. I've got Vans. I got, I got Asics. I got, I got Gucci's. I got them all. I got them all. It's my title. So without further ado, Let's get the sneaker head. So without further ado, let's get the sneaker collection for the ages underway. Oh my god. What is up, YouTube sneaker heads? It's Kristoff here from Crazy Kicks. Hope you guys like that opening intro I did there with the wrestling costume. It's gonna be my Halloween costume this year. Just so you know, I'm not into some weird stuff. Just thought I'd make a bit of a funny intro. If you guys have liked it, if you wanna see some more stuff like that, just let your boy know. But as you guys can see right here, we have a mound of sneakers. Just a freaking mound of sneakers to get through here. My entire sneaker collection as of yet. I didn't include my church shoes or any like running shoe stuff. Just, just, just the heat. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so starting things off with this top row here. I don't have any of the boxes for any of these, but let's just start off with this first pair here. We have the Adidas, uh, well, now they're called the Crazy Ones. They used to be the, uh, well, Kobe's first ever real signature shoe back when he was with Adidas before Nike, actually. Man, these must have come out originally, I think, in, like, uh, 2000 or so. But, yeah, I think 2000. But these were the, I think these were the, uh, man, what were these? Not, I think the playoffs, the silver ones. These are a little early for me. I'm, like, uh, I'm 20, so these shoes are about... These shoes are 16. I was four. I was four years old when these came out, so don't know too much about them. But I just thought these were crazy cool. I saw these actually had a winners for about like 30, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. And like I saw them in, uh, I saw them in 2K. I saw like some pictures of Kobe wearing them. I actually saw actually at the time it was uh, James Harden actually was wearing a pair of them. I saw him wear like in a couple pictures wearing them, and I just. Thought I had to have them, and then I saw them at the winners maybe like a week after that. Those photos of Harden came out, so I, I 30 bucks I copped them. They're getting a little yellow, though, as you can see. Uh, they've been in the closet for a little bit, they're a little hard to rock just because they're so uh, they're so shiny, especially in the summer. Like these boys, these things shimmer. Now, anyways. Let's put these up on the, I guess, the finished uh, sneaker pile now. Next up, we've got the Vans here. Again, just got these at a store. I think these were, like, at uh, the local mall. At, like, some kind of, uh, not closing sale, like, uh, season change type sale. I got these for, like, I think $30 as well. Just some regular red and gray Vans. Nothing really special about them. I do like, though, and I'm pretty sure this is in most Vans, but... The leather on the inside is actually makes it really comfortable as well as like even though these are really thin they don't have any cushioning these are really comfortable to me at least I like what these as like a kind of everyday shoe anyways let's put those on the pile next up we've got these ASIC uh, gel light threes here in the red bandana colorway again reason I don't have the box for any of these three sneakers is that these were at like a winner's Marshalls type fine on some kind of clearance thing. I got these again actually. 30, $39 I think actually for these. Now these are the red bandana colorway of the Gel Right Light uh, 3. I believe there was a, um, a black one as well. I saw someone wear actually a pair once. I came up to him. Told him I think like nice shoes. Something dumb like that. He was not amused. But anyways. 
my sneaker here it's got like some 3m details right here as well as back here i'm not sure if i can get those to really um actually can i get that to do anything here uh let's see no i can't turn the flash on when i'm recording unfortunately but again just a nice sneaker here this has gone in quite a lot of wear for me i've had these for oh man quite a while now probably about a year you can see it's getting all creased up along the back the soles are getting a little creased up. It's gotten quite a lot of wear. Quite dirty as well. Probably need to clean those. Let's put those up there for now. I don't think this is going to work out too well. We're probably going to fix that as we go along. Now, onto the shoe I'm sure you guys were probably looking at here. We've got some Gucci high tops. Now, the reason I don't have the box for these is because I got these actually um, acquired these uh, rather from a uh, sneaker reseller on one of the local Facebook groups here Vancouver I believe it was Vancouver sneakerheads at the time was what I was on I think I'm on another one now specifically for people that are like my size size 8 to 9.5 I believe this is the group now I got these actually for about a hundred and for, I think $120 after it was all said and done. Originally, he wanted $180, but um, no offense to the guy at all. He had his things go on. He was about uh, two hours late, so I ended up getting these for quite a lot cheaper for waiting around. I had to go all the way from my house to uh, Vancouver. It was about like an hour sky train ride. I had to wait around for like two, almost three hours for this guy altogether because I came a little earlier and he was two hours late. But when I got these, they were beat. They were beat up. I had to actually like, um, it's still really creased up now. I've got the Ikea shoe trees in there. But um, when I got these, they were brown as hell. They were all creased up. The laces, these aren't actually even the original laces. They were like ripped right down the middle around like here on this shoe. And this one had like no lace tips at all. But um, I cleaned these guys up, and I think they turned out pretty nice. Uh, kind of, uh, it's definitely gotten some wear from the previous owner there, as you can see on this shoe. It's increasing action as well up there. But, I mean, there's still some stars up along the top here. There's uh, really nice leather on these, actually. One thing I should mention, really nice leather. Again, you can see right here, these are actually a seven and a half. Uh, I don't know what that means. Now, I n I've never gotten them really fully figured out if they were real or not. I'm not sure if you can even see it. In I, mean, I might need a flashlight. Hold on, hold on. Now, I mean, you can see Gucci made in Italy. There's a sticker there. I've never gotten these figured out if they're real or not because... When I came to the guy, the Gucci store nearby was closed. I've done some legit checks though on the like on Facebook groups, and I mean they seem, um, as far as Facebook groups can tell, pictures they seem to check out. I haven't ever gotten them really authenticated though, but I mean that's those right there. I picked these up for about hundred twenty dollars. I believe they're worth almost like. 450 or so on the website for the black one for I think like the white ones is what I saw on the site That's a nice pair right there Now on to the real sneakers the ones that have boxes now Where should I start man? Eating meaning mining mo. I guess we're starting with these So first off we've got the air max 90s here in the original infrared colorway. I picked these up again actually off of Vancouver sneakerheads. I got these I believe for retail. I have the receipt here. I remember what I paid. It was um yeah I paid about 180 for these. The receipt was 173. Now these I get a lot of wear out of as you can probably see with all the uh so our battery died there. I'm not actually sure just where we lost it. Now, as I was saying, we got the infrared Air Max 90s here in the box as well. We have the original uh, Air Tag here, the Nike Air Tag. I'm not sure if all uh, Air Max 90s come with these, but this pair did. I 
again. The, I got these uh, again for retail. Really nice pair. I get a lot of wear out of those. Now I guess we should just work our way down. So next up, we have got just another, just another pair. Not too heat here really at all. Just a pair of black uh, pure boots. Not really gonna really talk too much about these. You've got some uh, 3M detailing along here. It's not really gonna do much. But um. Yeah, not much to say about these. Got just got these at a Foot Locker for retail. Wore the living hell out of them, as you can see. Just they will not get cleaned up. They are done. Now, pretty much my beaters there. Now on to the next pair. Let's work our way down. I guess this way. We've got a pair of. Oh, Next up, we've got a pair of Jordans here with the remastered gold box. I got these around uh, Black Friday time. I think you can probably guess what they are. We've got a pair of the Aqua Jordan 8s. Now, these guys, I really like. Now, I know a lot of people, especially this whole glitter, the glitter I am not a fan of, let me tell you, the glitter, oof, but um, I saw these shoes, I think actually maybe, man, who got me into these, I think Riff Raff wore these about like, maybe a year or two years ago before uh, this pair ever came out, and ever since, this was like one Jordan that I really wanted to get, just the, this, I don't know, just the purple and blue, the colors here, it reminds me, a lot of people get reminded of those Solo, the cups, the little 90s cups, but what this reminds me of, I don't know if you guys are going to know as well, is you know those Wildberry uh, Pop-Tarts with the blue and the purple? Oh, dude, they don't even, I can't even find those anymore in Canada, but those, when I was growing up, whoo, baby. Now, well, I mean, with some detailing in the inside, let me get my flashlight again, let me keep that flashlight on me. Now, again, on the insole. You've got some detailing in there, not sure how well, oh there we go. Yeah, you can see there's some cool, kind of like the same pattern that's going on along the bottom of the shoe is actually going on along the insoles on both shoes. And then of course you've got your felt here on the tongue, your straps, I like to keep my straps uh, sort of undone, I don't like it's too tight, but uh, anyways. On to the next sneaker. Anyways, next up, let's go this way here. We've got a pair. I mean, you can already see what these are. Converse, Calm the Garçon. We've got the low top chucks with the Calm the Garçon heart logo on the bottom. I think these are actually the second rendition of the uh, chucks and Calm the Garçon collab. The first one had a smaller heart here. Oh, man, and what were they? They were the... Um, they weren't like the normal Chuck Taylor, they were something else. Oh, the Jack Purcell, that's what I think they were. And, um, yeah, not a lot to say about these, just a regular pair of Chucks. It's got actually a little different in the insole. You've got sort of like a memory foam thing going on here, rather than your regular Chuck insole. Again, this is a, actually the 70s like era Chuck that it's based off of, so you've got a higher leather, like a higher rubber along the sides. Got a really thick toe cap there. Now anyways, on to our next sneaker. I gotta be careful behind me. Woo! Alright, next up, we've got a pair of Adidas NMDs here. I got these again, Vancouver Sneakerheads. Shouts out to that Facebook group. It's a great group. If you're in the Vancouver Lower Mainland area, like Surrey, Coquitlam, Burnaby, that area, Definitely, definitely try to get yourself on that group. Find a friend that's in it, get an invite. Because you can get a lot of great stuff, especially like recent shoes for pretty much retail a lot of the time. I got these, I think these are just like called the, the black and red NMD or NMDs. I don't think there's really any other name to the colorway at all. Just a really simple pair. I wore these actually um, to the uh, Yeezus St. Pablo tour when I went. So, you can see there's quite a lot of... Oh, I think it's actually gone. There was a lot of, like, gear on the bottoms of these things before. I should probably, uh, hold them from up here now that I think about it. But, yeah, I mean, 
you know how the NMDs like. You've got your 3M along all the the sides and the front logo as well. You've got your and you've got your uh, I think it says brand with the three stripes. Yeah, brand with the three stripes along the heel tabs on both shoes. This is 3M as well, it's just that uh, it's not really lighting up. Not a lot more to say about these. You've seen NMDs before, just a simple nice shoe. Again, got these for retail off the sneaker group, size 8. Alrighty, and next up, you've seen this one before. I don't know if I have to show you it. The Jordan 1 Swooshless. Of course, I mean, this is the only other video on the channel, I think, at the time. Now, as I'm sure you guys know, Jordan 1 swooshless, black, really nice leather. I've shown you guys the shoe before. Nice, like, Jordan logo. That's the only branding right here, the Jordan logo on the back, as well as there was a Jordan logo on the inside. It's all gone. We've worn these a lot. And yeah, as you, as you can see, worn these a lot. Now, not a lot of these shoes. They just look like a plain black shoe. I don't know if I can find them. Oh, there we go. You've got the gold lace aglets right there. Yeah, nice shoe. If you want to see more, I'll put a link in the description. I've done a full video on these shoes here. Now, on to the next pair. Let's go right here since I kind of alluded to them earlier. Now, this is a bit of... I'd say it's a bit of heat in my opinion. You can tell me. Now, of course, you've got your Nike box. Black on black with like the kind of like reflective Nike logo. Or not reflective, like glossy like Nike logo. You open these up and what do you get? Black foam posits in the Gucci colorway. The Gucci's. That's right. I've got actual Gucci's and I've got these right here. I got these actually. I lucked out getting them for retail in my size at a local Foot Locker. Maybe like... I think the day they came out actually, but almost like the night of them coming out, uh, almost when the Foot Locker was closing, it must have been like 6, 7 p.m. my time. So yeah, I mean, you probably have seen these before, I'm sure, I think they've been on like Heist and Abide, Soul Collector, that whole sort of deal. You've got your foam posit along the heel tab there, your green and red Nike swoosh. Red along the lining, green right there. Now, one thing that's cool is you've got your green with the Nike Air there on the mid on the midsole with the gold logo. You've got a green one on this shoe, but if you want to this shoe, you've got a red insole again with the gold Nike Air, and then you've got your of course red lining, green lining, green stripes for the tongue. Oh, I'm dropping them there. You've got your green like. Air right there on the tongue. Not sure what you can see. There we go. You got your air right there. Red stripe along the midsole. Gum bottom. Carbon fiber shank. These are a really nice pair. I've worn these a lot. Almost every time I wear these for whatever reason, someone at downtown will come up to me and say like, yo, where'd you get those? What are those called? Are those Gucci's? Are those Nike's? I get a lot of questions about these shoes here. Now, let's put them away, let's put these heaters back on ice, and let's move on. Alright, moving on, we've got a sneaker I got from actually a local store here, it's called Sneaker Box. They've got a location there in the Metrotown Mall, go check them out. Now, I've got a pair here in, of Air Max 95s, it's in the infrared safari colorway. Now, what makes these a little bit cool is rather than just have like your different colors here along the stripe, You've actually, I think, got like different materials. You've got like, of course, you got like a suede along the bottom and leather and another stripe of leather there. But then I don't know what to really describe this along the top. It's like a like half leather and half suede type thing right here. Kind of like a, that's where the safari print is, all the speckles there of the infrared safari. Now, of course, you've got your 3M stripe along the back there with your infrared I, but I think that it's that right there at least is just straight up pink Nike Air logo along the back you've got of course your safari print along the mid side here as well you've got your infrared again I think this looks more pink than infrared in my opinion I picked these up looking more at them on the pictures than what they looked like in store the store has some pretty low lighting I'd say so 
I didn't really see quite how pink they were until I got them out in the sun. But, uh, nonetheless, I get a lot of wear out of this pair here as well. Really comfortable, comfortable shoe here with the, uh, of course, you got your air bubbles along the front and these this huge air bubble in the back. I don't even know how big this is, to be honest. This is a huge bubble. But really, really comfortable shoe. I get a lot of wear out of these as well. Just more, to me, more of a fall, uh, spring type shoe just because of the bright pink. But what makes it more fall is, of course, the side colors here. Now, let's move on. Alrighty, and moving on for the fall season here, I've got myself a pair of six inch Tims. This is a bit of an interesting pair. We've got like a kind of like a reflective camel going on. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking up those changes there. But as you can see in the reflections, like in the sun, a bit of a camel print comes up. Now as well, one thing I've done with these is I've gotten these uh, laces actually just from like a a grocery store some camel laces you got some purple in there some green some brown some black now really nice of course waterproof sneak well not sneaker boot there for the fall season uh box is a little bit fucked up actually from just from earlier from doing that bit i fucked up this box but let's uh with that in mind let's uh let's uh let's move on and next up we've got the uh Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star 2.0 here in the black colorway. We've got the high top version here to go with those low top Com Garçons we've got there. Now, these are really, really comfortable for a Chuck Taylor because inside, as I'm sure you guys know with these Chuck 2s, you've got a, if I can get it out, Oh boy, can I get it out? This is definitely usually what she says. But um, as you can see there, took a little bit of effort. But we've got a really quite hefty bit of Lunar Lawn in the insole of the Chuck Taylor 2 here. It's kind of like a cup sole type thing actually. Alrighty, let's throw those back. Now... Definitely. One thing that's also different about these is you've got a way softer, like, almost like gum rubber now along the bottoms rather than that really stiff rubber you used to have along the bottoms of the chuck before, like the brown part. It's a little softer though, which means it's going to wear down quite a lot faster. You can already see, like, I've just only worn this maybe once, it's already kind of chipping away. But really really comfortable shoe there only 70 bucks retail as well so i mean if you like the look of chucks but they're not comfortable enough for you get you some chuck juice now alrighty guys and the last sneaker we have here this is actually the very first sneaker i technically bought that i call the sneaker like what started my whole collecting thing now at the time at the time, guys, let me tell you, I didn't know a lot about sneakers, right? Of course, like, this is my first time trying to buy a pair. And, uh, I got these for retail. And I was really into the Grape Jordan 5. That's the pair I really wanted to get at the time. As well as the, uh, I really wanted the Bread 4s or the Grape 5s for some reason. Those two shoes. So I heard that Jordan brand was going to be releasing a remastered grape type Jordan and I was all over it I was waiting out for it not like before like camping out but like I, I knew what day it was coming out I was ready to get it I saved up like my paycheck from my first job to get these shoes and lo and behold I didn't know they were like a remastered like new colorway they weren't like some retro anything so what we've got here is our first pair is the uh let's open this guy up the reverse grape jordan 5 so um these guys are just like an all navy blue jordan 5 um with kind of like a like a lighter big almost like a baby i'd say baby blue uh accents like shark teeth along the sides here as well as the uh, logo you've got your 3m tongue which again for some reason I think I need flash on on the camera to really get the 3M popping, but you've got your white Jordan logo on the back here. You can see there's quite a lot of like 
midsole cracking and creasing going on here as well as like on this shoe you can see quite a big uh, bit of scuffing there as well as on this shoe you've got a really big scuff all along the side here and some more even bigger uh, midsole cracking so the reason these shoes are so messed up is because I had the bright ass idea of uh, I went to this uh, this music festival. It was called Faded in the Park. It's a local festival, and um, it was gonna be on the Fourth of July. So I had some American flag socks. I had like a red and white like red and white striped like golf wing soccer jersey like the American stripes. And I thought, what better way to kick off Fourth of July, even though I'm Canadian in Canada, than to wear. <laughs> My 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 blue my all blue Jordan fives to go with the, like you know the American flag socks the red and white stripes the, the shorts and then I went to the side stage and it was raining a couple days before and that stage was all dirt so uh, these things were through some hell let me just say that these. So yeah, bottom line, these things have been beat to hell at festivals, I've taken them downtown a couple times, gone clubbing in these a couple times, these have been through quite a lot, but I just wear these as like my cheap Jordan type flexi shoe, cause it's like, it's a Jordan 5, it's in a cool like colorway, it's not an original colorway, but you know you wear some jeans, you wear like a, a black shirt, a blue shirt whatever looks cool but anyways as you guys can see we've made an absolute mess of my room here with all the uh with all the sneaker carnage so i think i'm gonna call this video here a wrap now definitely feel free to rate comment subscribe all that stuff and definitely tell me what you guys think of my sneaker collection do i have any heat do you have better heat? Probably. Just let just just talk to me. Just hit me up. Just I'm lonely. Alright, I'm gonna end this video on a wise note. A wise man by the name of Paul Cantu once taught me. Taught me these very important words. Very simple words, very short words. But words nonetheless that, that stuck with me for a lifetime, really. For for the rest of my life. Now, those words in exact quotes were Fishes get you bitches. That's all, folks. That's it. That's, that's what I wanted to say.